चल भाई आज भी जो चलता है चल भाई ठीक है Welcome to another video from Backbencher Studios. In this video, we are going to talk about the method to convert Cartesian form to polar form and vice versa by using a a scientific calculator. FYI, here we are using an FX nine nine one MS calculator, which is a two-way powered calculator, so that when you run out of power after four to five years, you can charge it up with sun. Uh, okay, that was bad. So moving on. So guys, as you can see that. This is the a plus i b is the Cartesian form and r theta is the polar form and r is under root a square plus b square or also known as the modulus of a and b and theta is tan inverse b by a that is the argument of a and b. So guys, first I'm gonna show you how to convert Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates. We are going to power it on. So here we go. So guys, first we'll press this shift button which is at the top left corner of your calculator. So we'll press shift. Now to convert Cartesian to polar form, we'll press the plus sign button, which is here. So now here we go. As you can see, there appears the word pole, which stands for polar actually, with an opening bracket in the screen. Now, where the cursor is blinking, uh, we'll feed the the Cartesian coordinates into it. Now remember that the Cartesian coordinates should be feeded with a sign and also. Uh, first the real part is fed and then the imaginary part is fed so suppose if we have to convert 3 plus 4i into polar form so we'll feed uh, it like this the 3 is the real part then we'll place a comma and then we'll feed the imaginary part which is 4 and then we'll close the bracket now uh, as you can see that we have feeded the cartesian coordinates and then we'll press this equal to button to get our modulus now guys here we uh, as you can see we've got a 5 so this is our modulus or the value of r in the polar form so now to get our value of theta that is the argument we'll press the alpha button which is just next to the shift button this is this is the alpha button so we'll press that and now we'll press the tan button there, here is the tan button so there uh, let, comes a letter F and now we'll press this equal to button again to obtain our value of theta. So here as we can see we've got 53.13 something as our value of theta. So that's how we can convert a Cartesian coordinates into the polar form. I will show you how to convert the polar coordinate into Cartesian coordinate. So first we'll start again with by pressing the shift key. This is the shift button. Then we'll press the minus key. That is the minus button. So as you can see that we get an REC which stands for rectangular and a opening bracket with a blinking cursor. Now we'll feed the values of R and theta respectively which are separated by a comma sign. So first we'll feed the value of R which is say 3. Then we'll put a comma to separate r and theta. Then uh, theta we'll take say 45. Now we'll put a closing bracket. And again now we'll press the equal to key to get the result. And uh, this will this result will represent the a in the a plus b. So here we get uh, it is 2.12. And uh, this is the value of a in our a plus b. That is the Cartesian coordinate we need to find out. Then to find the b in the a plus b we'll again press the alpha button followed by the tan button so now when f appears we'll finally press the equal to sign and here as we can see we again get uh, 2.12 well, that's a coincidence i guess uh, so this is the value of b in our a plus iv and this is how we can convert a polar coordinate into a cartesian coordinate Now I'm going to pull up an example so that you can understand the concept well. So uh, we've got a problem here, a simple problem where we have to divide two polar forms and find the value of Z int. Now to divide these two polar forms, we've got a rule here. So this is the rule in which M1 M1 theta 1 is the first polar form which is divided by M2 theta 2 which is the second polar form. Now to get the answer we have to first divide M1 by M2 separately and we only have to subtract the theta 2 from theta 1 to get the theta of the answer. 
I have simplified this problem in this step like this. So now I am going to simply divide 14.28 by 9.99 and write the answer. So after dividing 14.28 by 9.99 we've got an answer of 1.429 approximately. And as you can see that minus 150 and minus 30 gives us minus of 180. So guys this is the answer of this problem this division in the polar form only. So this is how you can divide two polar forms and get the answer. So now I am going to convert this polar form which is the answer of Zint into a Cartesian form. So we will first press the shift key then we will press the minus key. Now we will feed these values that is this is the value of R which is 1.429 separated by a comma and then we will enter this value of theta with sign which is minus 180 and now we will close the bracket and press the equal to key. So here the, uh, here we get the value of a in a plus b. So we will write it like this. It is minus of 1.429 and then to calculate the value of b we will press the alpha button followed by the tan button and then the equal to button. So as you can see we get 0 for b. So we will write it like this which is 0i or in more simplified way we will write it like this that is minus 1.429 only. So this is the answer of our zint in Cartesian form and this is the answer in polar form. So guys this is another example in which we have to divide two Cartesian forms. So we have two methods first by rationalizing and second the method we have followed uh, by that is by converting both the forms into polar form and then dividing that. So first as we can see that I have converted 3 plus 4i into this uh, this is the polar form of 3 plus 4i. So for uh, checking purpose we can you have to press shift then polar and then we have to pass 3 and 4 separated by a comma and, and the, therefore we get 5 which is the value of r then we'll press alpha followed by tan and then followed by equal to so this is the value of theta which is uh, specified here now we'll find the polar form of 5 minus 2i which uh, again goes like this shift then plus then we'll pass the values that is 5 comma minus 2 now you, as you can see that uh, as here it is given 5 minus 2i so I have fed uh, here 5 and minus 2 that is with sign then I'll put the closing bracket sign and then press the equal to button so here as you can see we've got 5.385 as the value of r then for value of theta we'll do alpha followed by tan then press equal to and here it, uh, it gives us the value of the theta that is minus 21.801 now as you can see that now a is expressed in the form of uh, two polar forms which are div uh, divided by each other now uh, we'll recall that formula which is this that is m1 theta 1 by m2 theta 2 is equal to m1 by m2 and theta 1 minus theta 2 so by using this formula we'll get this uh, term as uh, we have 5 divided by 5.385 and we'll get as you can see we'll get 0.929 and uh, now to calculate the theta we'll, we'll simply uh, do subtraction that is 53.130 minus of in bracket we'll use brackets minus 21.8 01 close the bracket and we'll get the answer which is 74.931 so this is the polar form of uh, a which is the answer this is the polar form of the answer and now we we'll like to convert this answer into cartesian form again so we'll uh, go back to that method by pressing shift then minus then we'll put these values which are r this is the r and this is the theta that is 0.929 separated by a comma then 74.931 we will close the bracket and 
press equal to this gives us the value of the a in a plus ib which is 0.2415 which is taken up approximated 2.242 then we'll press alpha then tan and then equal to this gives us the value of b in a plus ib which is 0.897 so this is the cartesian form of a and this is the polar form of a so guys this is how we can convert cartesian to polar or polar to cartesian if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome stuff to come and for any queries please comment me in the comment section below thanks for watching see you in the next video